everyone, welcome back to News with Ashley. Today we're going to be talking about Black History Month, and specifically Mary Jane McLeod Bethune. Right, here's my portrait of Mary Jane McLeod Bethune to show you what she looked like. Mary Jane was born on July 10, 1875 in Maysville, South Carolina, and sadly she died at age 79 on May 18, 1955 in Daytona Beach, Florida. Born to formerly slave people, she grew up in poverty. She was born one out of 17 other siblings she had. Wow, I cannot imagine. She was the only child in the fa her family that went to school. Then she received a scholarship to the Scotia Seminary, now called Barber Scotia College in North Carolina. And when she graduated in 1893, she then attended Dwight Moody's Institute for Home and Foreign Missions, also known as Moody Bible Institute in Chicago. Mary Jane is considered a historical figure for her efforts to promote the rights of both African Americans and women. Mary Jane served as an educator for nearly a decade. She thought that education provided the path to racism change. In 1904, in Daytona, Florida, Mary Jane founded the Daytona Normal and Instructional Institute for Negro Girls. Starting with just five people, she helped expand the school over the next few years to more than 250 students. Wow, that's a big difference. She served as the president of the Florida chapter of the National Association of Colored Women for many years. In 1924, Mary Jane became the organization's nation's leader, beating out fellow reformer Ida B. Wells for the top spot. I believe that Mary Jane McLeod Bethune is a very brave person because Mary Jane wanted to promote the rights of African Americans and women, and that takes a lot of bravery to do that because being an activist back then was very risky. Why I look up to Mary Jane McLeod Bethune is because she wasn't afraid to stand up for what she believed in. I hope you guys enjoyed News with Ashley. Bye! See you soon!